Well, hello everybody. It's Dr. Carmen Bryant. Of course, you know this is Car Chronicles. How you guys doing? You guys ready? Let's do it. So, of course, you guys know that my channel is dedicated to those that are victims or survivors of narcissist abuse. Um, those that are in recovery, those that are thinking of getting out, trying to figure out how to get out. Um, and those of you that just want more education or may not have realized they may have had encounters with narcissists. However, in this particular uh, episode or this moment in TikTok, you know, it, this can apply to many people. And what I wanted to say is the person that has the most power over you is the person that can move you emotionally. The person that's able to trigger you and cause you to react instead of respond. Anytime a person has that much control over you, it's time for you to reassess yourself, especially the narcissist. Then you have been with a narcissist for such a long time or maybe even a short period of time that they have more control over how they make you react or respond. And most of the time it's not a response, it's a reaction. Because they're going to do things to just get up under your skin to cause you to react. That's why you always have to think it through. Every, every argument does not require an answer. Another thing is, for those of you, some of you are being held hostage. And you're being held hostage because they took your voice. Um, and the reason why they've taken, taken your voice is because they smeared you. Or you have this feeling that if I say anything, no one is going to believe me in the first place. This is why you have so many people, survivors, talking about their experiences, channels that are validating your experience and normalizing your feelings. You know, it is normal to feel that way. You are correct. You were abused. And so the thing is, is that in order to get your power back, you have to understand that you have a voice. And that means with your voice, you tell your story the problem that you're going to run into everyone is not going to believe you and the thing about it is, is those people that don't believe you and some of you have to make that decision it is one of the most boldest things that you will ever do it, it is one of those things that you really have to think through because once you do it there is consequences to any type of actions it's positive or negative consequences actions and reactions you know a uh, uh, positive negative that's what it is and for some of you you already know that if I say something I'm gonna lose my mother my father my sister my cousins my grandparents I'm gonna those people that were close to me are those that I'm gonna lose well obviously you need to say something because what is happening it's like roach spray. You're spraying out those people that were never on your side in the first place. And if they can't support you in your truth because you were there. And the problem is, is that when people open up their mouth to say what has happened, you got all these people around you or these, these flying monkeys that tell you that didn't happen. But you were there. You know exactly what happened and it is your truth. You open up your mouth and you tell your story and don't be afraid. You have power.